Hello, welcome to this lesson of Mastering Fifth Grade Math. Here we're going to tackle the topic of thinking about fractions in terms of division. And uh, I'm not talking about dividing fractions by other fractions. I'm talking about when you look at a fraction on a piece of paper, I want you to start thinking in the back of your mind that that fraction, everything we set up to this point is true with what a fraction represents. But you can also think about a fraction as a uh, a division of the numerator divided by the denominator. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Uh, if we have the improper fraction, we've been talking about before about improper fractions. If I have the improper fraction 10 halves, 10 halves like this, um, what this means is that the numerator is larger than the denominator. And whenever you look at fractions from here on out, everything that we've set up until now is, is absolutely true with what fractions represent. But you can also think about this fraction meaning 10 divided by 2. So you can carry this around in a calculation all day long. 10 halves is perfectly fine to bring around uh, in any math problem that you have. But if you want to simplify it further, um, you can just look at this as division. 10 divided by 2. It almost looks like what you would think of as basic division problem, 10 divided by 2. So 10 halves is 10 divided by 2, which of course is 5. So what this is saying is that 10 halves, the fraction 10 halves, is exactly the same as the number 5. You need to start thinking about fractions representing that fraction bar is almost like a division symbol. All right, let me do another one and then I will wrap it up and show you kind of how it ties into everything we learned before. What if you have uh, 12 sixths, 12 sixths? Right? So, of course, this is a fraction. It's improper because the numerator is bigger than the denominator, but you can start thinking about this as division. 12 divided by 6, of course, it goes evenly, um, and that is uh, 2, right? Of course, you could do another one. You could say 15 thirds. Well, of course, this looks like 15 divided by 3, and of course, it divides evenly and you get 5 because 3 times 5 gives you 15. So, see what I'm saying? When you see an improper fraction, that evenly divides like this, then if you want to simplify it, you can just do the division and write the whole number down. Now, let me tie this in to what we've learned previously and show you that everything is, everything is the same as it was before. Let's look at this improper fraction. What about 13 halves? What I'm telling you is that this is an improper fraction, just like this is an improper fraction, just like this is an improper fraction, because the numerator is bigger than the denominator. And I'm again telling you that you can view this as a division. You can view this as 13 halves, no problem. You can convert it to a mixed fraction as well. But you can, um, you can see that there's no way that you can take 13 and divide it by 2 and get a whole number. So because of that, because this doesn't divide evenly, typically we leave the improper fraction alone or we can convert it to a mixed fraction, which we've already learned how to do. So it still looks like division, it's just that it doesn't divide evenly here. What about the fraction 17 ninths? This is an improper fraction, but 9 does not go into 17 an even number of times. So I can leave it as an improper fraction in my calculations, or I can convert it to a mixed fraction. We've done that before. Um, but in any case, we can't do a division like these problems because of the fact that it doesn't divide evenly. What about 18 ninths? Well, again, this looks like division, 18 divided by 9. This does go evenly, so I can rewrite that one as 2. All right, so basically, anytime you have an improper fraction with a bigger number on top than the bottom, um, and you're trying to simplify it, try to just divide it. Try to treat it as a division symbol, and if it does divide evenly like these problems, then you just write the whole number down because it, a fraction